He's a fan of the way he's handled things, and now Robert De Niro wants to take on the role of New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. Welcome to Extra. I'm Billy Bush. We're tracking all the latest headlines today. Let's begin with our top story. As the governor went on The Tonight Show, imploring everyone to not let down their guard, and he used a bit of his trademark humility and humor with Fallon as he took on his recent rocket ride to national fame. Today, Madonna is revealing she tested positive for coronavirus antibodies, saying she felt ill during a part of her recent Madame X tour. Jennifer Lopez just sent a shout out to those on the front lines in the Bronx. I just want to thank all of the hospital workers, the doctors, nurses, and staff, at New York Presbyterian Hospital um, for fighting the good fight. Uh, your heroic efforts have not gone unnoticed. We love you. We thank you. Stay safe. George Clooney celebrated his 59th birthday in quarantine with his family yesterday. His ER co-star Juliana Margulies posted this throwback pic of their last day on the set with the message, happy birthday to my sweet pal. While we talk about reopening the country, what are you seeing around there? Georgia was the first. There's a little bit of a spike there. Anything devastating or are we uh, slowly okay here? What do you see? Nothing devastating, but it's a little too early. Look, somebody has to go first. And so what we do is we need about a two week period to know because if you just get coronavirus or COVID-19 now, there's very good likelihood you're not gonna know or have significant symptoms until two weeks from now. That's when we measure it in the right. hospital. too early. So it's a little too early. Having said that, it's a must. We have to go back into society and we have to learn. If we realize we did something too early, we have to be able to pull back and that's why not losing the public's trust and what our recommendations are is so important. Well, we have to recognize a very special species called the rhesus macaque monkey. They're soldiers, they're angels in this process. Look at these guys, not very cute. But the University of Oxford, which has made some great headway with the vaccine, they've had success. In, in late March, these guys responded incredibly well in their early trials, which allowed in mid-April Oxford to move into human trials. Are we that similar? Yeah, like 98% similar. Can anything bad happen to these little fellas? Of course, they can. We're testing. It is unfortunate. Uh, we never want to test on other animals, but uh, at this point, it's a pandemic. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.